What's up everyone, Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here, and it is now March 1st, a little after 11 a.m. New York time, and pretty much just trying to get this out there about the DJI Phantom 4, their new line of Phantom cameras, their, it's not the Phantom 3, the Phantom 3 4K, it's a completely new quadcopter or drone, and there's a lot of information about it, and not a, a lot of new stuff, and they kind of appled it to where you can't use some of the things that you've used before on the Phantom 3 line, because it's something new. So let's just dive into it. So DJI has been hyping this, they've put out a lot of teasers, and it's been gotten a lot of play, because they've been one of the most popular drone companies out there to produce these things. I have the Phantom 3 uh, standard, and it's been amazing, and now it's extremely affordable to the consumer market, but well, who is this DJI Phantom 4? Four in that case, it's a fourteen hundred dollar investment that you're going to have to make. It's going to be in Apple stores, they say, on March fifteenth, and the rest of the, I guess, you know, market towards the end of March. So this thing is coming out fast and hard, uh, you know, right now. So there are a lot of new things. Let's break these down. I'm sure you can find a lot of this stuff, but it's just interesting to talk about. So if you just take a look right here, it's a newer type build ish. Uh, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as it was before, but there's so much information built into this and, and technology, it's just worth talking about. I'm going to kind of just go through the list right here. As I said, it's a newer body. It's plain and white. It actually has new optical sensors basically built in all around the camera to help with obstacle avoidance. Uh, it's new tracking system, which they call Tapfly, which help uh, builds the image more CPU-like and for like... Uh, tracking and it just works for like obstacle avoidance it has a 60 degree to 30 degree view all depending on how you know fast you're going because there is a new mode that i'll tackle in one second so think of it more or less of all these new sensors and tracking things as a parking sensor for your car so if you're getting close to something it won't go it will stop and it will warn you that it, it just won't it's this thing has become very very cpu and smart if if you want to think of it like that but it will have a new battery as well. So you can't use any of your old Phantom 3 battery lines or Phantom 2 or whatever. It will be a newer battery, but it will also record for 28 minutes. So you're getting maybe about five to four more minutes, uh, four to five more minutes on this, but you're almost going for a half hour at this point. But I'm sure that's going to be about a $150 or $200 battery, a battery like before, even though you're investing $1,400 into this kind of quadcopter. So you have that. As I said, it's a new camera system for tracking and for guidance. It's really harping on the cinematography and the following of someone. I'm gonna I'm gonna link uh, this tested video down here. They have amazing video. Of course, they got hands on with it first of the tracking system and how you can use a little target to track someone and it will go around. Even though it was a little iffy, but check that link down in the description below so you can fully see that. Its propellers are also new. They're not spin. You don't spin them on anymore. One's opposite. One's not opposite. Counterclockwise or anything. So they're really just kind of a push on and you just tighten a little bit so it's more safe it's less confusing and it's just something that's a little bit better uh there is no hdmi out for people who love like the i think they're called the fat shark glasses or any kind of uh first person view fpv goggles so this will probably be a different adapter or something coming out in the future there is a new button uh i don't know if it's going to show the controller here um there is a new button on the actual controller itself that you can pause the, the the quadcopter mid flight and it really doesn't matter about your connection apparently so you can literally just pause it so if you have a flyway it will just stop and stay and you can regather and take it home i'd be interested to see the accuracy within that i don't know that kind of sounds like a farce to me but apparently that's one of the things if you're if you're losing control you can tap that and that all of a sudden stop it for you so it will once again have the phantom 3 you don't get the full 360 view like an inspire obviously you spin your drone to get your 360 view and obviously there's no interference because the camera's just straight it just goes up and down speaking of the camera it will do 1080p at 120 frames per second and it will give you 4k at 24 frames per second so you're getting your full 4k but they're admitting that it's the same camera as the phantom 3 4k that just came out that i think is like 800 dollars right now but it's new optics inside so you're getting something a little different maybe just a little bit more new but overall 1400 dollars is this something that's worth it for you now say if you've just bought the like dji phantom 3 you know standard uh you know advanced or professional uh 3 4k is it worth upgrading to uh, I would say it probably is just because it just seems like a more safe, smarter drone, more tool that you could use for your thing. But the problem is 
only really if you're in that time frame where you can return it. So maybe if you just bought something, this thing is only coming out in a few weeks. So I'd say you return that if you can and get something like this, all depending on if you can justify the price difference. But you know, if you're spending 800 to a thousand, maybe $1,200 on depending on what you bought, an extra couple hundred dollars, even though I know it's tough, and I'm not in that situation, probably is worth investing in this since um, especially a lot of the new drone care that you can buy from DJI might be worth the cost and the investment into this since you're already spending a lot of money as it is. So I don't know. It's a, I, I'm actually pretty interested uh, in this. I mean, I don't, I can't afford this, unfortunately, or I definitely would, you know, be on to buy it. Uh, but I still love my standard. I still love the 2.7K that it does. It just ob obviously isn't as new as smart as this. But they keep coming out with so many different models very quickly. It's just, it's hard to be tempted that much. But something like this, I think, is going to last for a while. They they said they pretty much hyped, they, they built this for an entire year. That's why you saw these little increments and the camera that they use with the Phantom 3 4K. So, so that's it. That's everything. 1400 bucks. March 15th in Apple stores, it will be out and everywhere else by the end of the month. So there you go. Maybe this is something that you're interested in. If you are, let me know down below. What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? If you own some of the advanced or uh, whatever, is this a worthy upgrade for you? Or do you think it's just overhyped drama? Let me know down below.